So I was dealing with a really stressful situation, something that I really needed guidance on, and I kept asking my spirit guides for answers, and it didn't seem like I was getting the answers to the questions I kept asking, until I realized that I was getting the answers. So I'm gonna give you three of the ways that I was realizing that I was getting the answers, and that I know for sure are gonna help you understand what the universe and your spirit guides are trying to communicate to you. Hey my friend, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach and I help guide spiritual seekers like yourself release their fears and deepen their connection to the spirit within. So the situation I was going through was I was just having all these chronic health issues. It didn't seem like I was getting the answers that I was asking for. Uh, and I realized that I was having this deeper spiritual awakening. I was, my body was still holding on to resistance, but I could not release that resistance to get the answers that I was seeking. And yet the spirit my spiritual guides were still trying to give me answers to the questions I kept asking. So these are the three things that I realized for myself that were helping me and hopefully they help you as well. So the first thing that I started to realize, and I've done this for a long time and yet I wasn't recognizing it, was these repeating numbers. And so it doesn't matter what the number is. There's a beautiful website I like to go to called Sacred Scribes uh, Angels Numbers. I'll put it in the link down below. I'll put a description in the link down below, so check that out. But, but I kept getting these numbers, 222, 538, 777, all these different repeating numbers. And I was seeing them on billboards. I was seeing them on license plates. I was seeing them just repetitively throughout the day. And some days, each time they would change. When I went to that website and I looked at the message that was coming from those, those numbers, it really gave me clarity because I thought, oh man, that's true. In this one, I do need to have faith. I do need to hold on to my, my, my belief. These numbers all have indication. When we're being too cloudy in our heads, oftentimes the universe can't get the message through for us to hear. If there's too much noise up here and there's too much uh, resistance right here, how's the universe, how your spiritual guide's gonna give you the answers? They try to force it through the crack of least resistance. Numbers and external factors tend to be very good things that our minds will pick up on and recognize. And so, that's one of the things that really helped me. Everything that I was doing in those moments to help clear this resistance in my body and to allow my body to heal so that I could be taken care of and I could be living the perfect, joyful life that I want, was just to keep doing what I was doing. I was releasing the resistance, but in the release of the resistance, there was still a little muck that had to be cleared. So before we move on to number two, write down if you've seen numbers, what are the most recent numbers that you've seen and have you understood what they mean? What is the meaning to them? Share them with me and share them with the other people that are gonna watch this. And secondly, I wanna remind you that you know you're getting an answer from your spiritual guides if you feel good in the receiving of that answer. If in the moment you are receiving what you think is an answer and you're feeling downtrodden, you're feeling worse, you're feeling poor, you know that you are going in opposition to what your source, what your spirit guides are telling you. When you feel better, you're in deeper connection with spirit, with source, with God. And so when you're receiving an answer, you're going to feel better. It doesn't mean you're going to be feeling joyful, exuberant if you're feeling kind of down and depressed. It means that you're going to be feeling better and a sense of relief will come about through that answer. So moving on to number two, you're gonna be given a message through different people. How do you know you're getting a message from other people? You'll be feeling good. It'll be an aha moment, a light bulb will go off. Ah, oh, yes, of course that's the answer. Of course that's my message. Somebody may give you a suggestion on something to watch, on something to listen to, on a practice to partake in, or just something they recognize about themselves, and you'll go, oh, I feel that same way. Oh, that's what I've been wondering. Ah, oh, that's the question I've been asking. The universe works through many avenues. You don't get to decide how the universe works. One of those ways is through other people. The universe is moving through all of us equally because we are all extensions of source, of spirit. And as a result, the universe, spirit, can give you a message through other people because guess what? The other people are you. You are the other. I am the other. You're just getting messages through extensions of yourself in the form of other people. And the granddaddy of them all, our favorite way of receiving guidance is from messages from within, feeling inspiration, 
and feeling pushed to do something. So this is the granddaddy. This happens when we're in that higher elevated emotional level. When we are feeling above contentment, we'll put that little, the little emotional guidance system right here. When you're feeling above contentment, that's when you're in that allowing space. Anytime you're feeling above contentment and you're asking questions, this is going to be a very dominant way that you're gonna receive a message. That can look like, a message from within can look like a repetitive thought in combination with an emotion tied to it. So you're going to feel this repetitive thought and this emotion that feels of relief, that feels better, that feels good. And that's how you know that you're definitely getting into a message from spirit itself. That is pretty much what inspiration is, right? Is that to breath, breathe in, a breath in. Ah, it's that inspiration. It's to feel that relief. Ah, to feel that inspired movement from within me. And then you're going to be pushed to do something. And pushed to do something can look like just writing it down. It can look like changing a behavior, changing a thought that will then become cha a changed belief. It could look like talking to somebody, calling somebody, buying something, selling something. There are so many ways that you're going to be feeling pushed. But that feeling of feeling pushed is going to be more than just your own um, singular thought. It's going to be a thought that you just feel like you need to keep doing and you don't know why, but it, it there is something to it, right? You're going to feel like, I don't know why I need to do this, but there is something to it. And so that is the granddaddy. That one happens when you're in that state of allowing, in that emotional state of that higher vibrational state. So these are your three. These are very clear ways to know that spirit, that your spiritual guides are communicating with you. Repeating numbers, repetitive numbers, regardless of what the numbers are, they're communicating something. Messages through others, through other people, right? And you just feel like they click when they say something to you. And then messages from within, right? Of myself, I can do nothing. The spirit that dwells within me does the work. The spirit wants you to have the answer. You, you deserve to have the answer. There's no reason for you not to have the answer. The task is just for you to open up your, 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 your barriers and allow the message to come through. I appreciate you watching so much. If you like this video, check out this one. I think this one will really help you out. Um, and I'd love to hear your comments and feedback. Uh, I love you so much. Thank you always for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you on the next video next time. I love you. Bye. That's it.